Good morning, fifth grade. This is Miss J. Today is Wednesday, May 20th. To be prepared for math class today, you should have your math packet page open for today's lesson, lesson 6.15. You should also have your unit 6 notes open as well, a piece of scratch paper and a pencil. So our problem solving task today is in three parts. We're gonna continue talking about expressions in today's PSD. Carolina is twice as old as her brother Diego will be in three years. Diego is four years old now. Part A, write and solve an expression to model Carolina's age. So, we're trying to write an expression that we can use to find Carolina's age, which means we need to use the information about the relationship between Carolina's age and Diego's age in order to find out Carolina's age. So, go ahead and complete part A. Once you're done, come back and resume the video. Welcome back. So let's go back to the information and see what we can figure out. Carolina is twice as old as her brother Diego. What information do we get from that? Number one, we know that Carolina is older than Diego. And number two, we know that in three years from now, we can take Diego's age and multiply by two, and you would get Carolina's age. Diego is four years old now. So let's put that all together. We know Diego is four years old. In th and in three years, Carolina will be twice as old as Diego. So we need to take his age and add three because that'll be his age plus three more years. Then we need to take that amount and we need to multiply it by two because her age will be twice as much as Diego's age. So our expression would look like we have two times parentheses four plus three. So again, we have Diego's age, which is four plus three more years. Then we're gonna multiply that by two because Carolina is twice her brother Diego's age. Now we solve. We always solve for parentheses first because that shows priority. So four plus three, we get seven and two times seven is 14. So we know that Carolina is 14 years old. So now you're going to use that information and you're going to do part B. So pause the video, figure out the expression and the answer for part B, and then resume the video when you're ready to continue. Welcome back. So part B says, Carolina's sister Marisol is three times as old as Diego was two years ago. Write and solve an expression to model Marisol's age. First, what are we writing an expression for? We're writing an expression that when we simplify it, it will give us Marisol's age. 
Carolina's sister Marisol is three times as old as Diego was two years ago. Okay, it looks like we're trying to figure out Marisol's age by using information we know about Diego. Let's figure this out. Is Marisol older or younger than Diego? Right. Marisol is definitely older than Diego because it says she's three times as old as Diego was two years ago. So she must be older than four. Now we're going to think about and write an expression using Diego's age that shows the relationship between his age and Marisol's age. So we can use that to find Marisol's age. So we know Diego is four. If we want to represent how old he was two years ago, what operation would we use? That's right, subtraction. We would write four minus two because we need to find his age two years ago before we can do anything else. Great. Now let's go back and read it again and figure out any other information we need to include. Carolina's sister, Marisol, is three times as old as Diego was two years ago. Write and solve an expression to model Marisol's age. If Marisol is three times as old as Diego was two years ago, what operation would we use to figure that out? Yes, multiplication. What would we multiply by? We would multiply by three because she's three times as old. So our expression should be three times parentheses four minus two. So now we're ready to solve. What's my next step with solving this expression? That's right. We're going to subtract two from four. First, because it's in parentheses. Awesome, so then we get three times two, and we know that equals six, so Marisol is six years old. Now for part C, go ahead and solve and resume, resume the video once you've completed it. Okay, so this expression models the difference in the ages of Carolina's father and her mother. What is the difference between their ages? Do we need to write an expression for this problem? No, we do not. They already give us the expression. We know that expression represents the difference in the parents' ages. So if we're going to find the difference, then we just need to simplify this expression. And this is going back to before where you start with the inside nested parentheses and you work outwards. 
So let's solve this together step by step. So we first solved inside of the nested parentheses. You got 10 times 4, which equals 40. So our new expression is parentheses 15 times 3 minus parentheses 40 minus 2. Now we're going to solve for the nested parentheses. Forty minus two is thirty-eight. What's our next step? That's right. Now we're going to solve for our first part of the problem. Fifteen times three is. Yep, 45. 45 minus 8 is 7. Remember that your work should be super, super organized, and you should always be solving step by step so that you don't make any mistakes. So the difference between Carolina's parents' ages is 7 years. Now you're going to go ahead and solve for guided practice and also complete your practice packet. Once you've completed it, come back and resume the video. Welcome back fifth grade. So for guided practice problem number one, our expression is 12 divided by parentheses one times two times 3 plus 12. So of course, we're always going to solve for our parentheses first. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. So our new expression is 12 divided by 6 plus 12. We know that division is the more powerful operation. So we're going to solve for division first. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 plus 12 equals 14, and 14 is our answer. Number 2. Casey played 8 songs on the guitar on Monday, 3 on Tuesday, and 5 on Wednesday. Thomas played 3 times as many as Casey this week. How many did he play? So we first need to add up all the songs that Casey played throughout the week. Then, once we've done that, we can multiply it by three to find out how many Thomas played since he played three times as many as Casey. And now we can solve. Again, we're going to solve for our parentheses first. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 5 is 16. 16 times 3 equals 48. For your practice packet, I'd like you to go over all of your work and see if you've made any mistakes and take this time to revise them. We're always going to begin with our nested parentheses first. That's when we have parentheses inside of parentheses. So we'll start with 18 divided by 3 minus 4. Division is our more powerful operation. So we're going to do 18 divided by 3. We get 6, parentheses 4, plus parentheses 6 minus 4, minus 2. Then in our 
inside of our parentheses again, we have 6 minus 4, which equals 2. Parentheses 4 plus 2 minus 2. We'll then get 6 minus 2, which equals 4. T the secret code for today's math class is music. M-U-S-I-C. Music. Again, the secret code for today's math lesson is music. M-U-S-I-C. Now that we've gone over that one together, go ahead and check your work. Now we're at the end of our practice packet. Write an expression and solve. Be careful with parentheses. Number one, the length of a rectangle is two meters and the width is two more than the length. The perimeter is four more than the area of the rectangle. What is the perimeter? So we know that we have to figure out what the area of the rectangle is first. In order to find out the perimeter, which is four more. How do we find length and width? We must multiply. So we know the length is two meters. And the width is two more than the length. So we need to add. So we get two plus two. And then we know we have to figure out the area. So we're going to multiply two plus two, which is four, by two. Now that we've done that, we'll be able to add four more to figure out what the perimeter is. So our expression is four plus parentheses two times parentheses two plus two. Two plus two is four. Now we can multiply two times four, which is eight. Four plus eight is 12. So the perimeter is 12 meters. Go ahead and look over number two and make any revisions to your work if needed. Now you're going to head over to your exit ticket on Google Classrooms and complete it. If you have any questions about anything we've gone over today in our math lesson, make sure you're reaching out to your teachers and asking for help.